Brodies, welcome to the road trip. Hi! Brodies, it is Sunday, and we are on our way to go pick up Val from work. Yes. So we'll keep this first clip kind of short. Yes. We're just going to say, Brodies. Hi. How are you? How are you? Welcome to day 504. Oh, snap. Hi, my name is Jen. Hi, I'm Lisa. We're sisters. And we do daily vlogs here on YouTube. Now we call our audience roadies because we feel life is like a road trip. All you need is determination and a destination. 2014, we've dedicated this year as our year of change. Because, because we believe this year is gonna be better. And you're gonna say this year is gonna be stronger. And I'm brave for me. This year I'm gonna make it. Cause I said I would. Said I never could this So we're on, like I said, we just heard, we're on our way to go get Val from work. Yep. Today we kind of sorry little, Michigan roads. Sorry, I won't miss that. <laughs> well, um, um, today we kind of have. <laughs> today we kind of had just been chilling out today. Um, yeah. We did homework last night until oh. almost one o'clock in the morning. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Seriously. Then, Today is a kind of like a low homework day. Yeah. So really, you want to know what we've really been doing? Really like just like kind of pre-planning. of Mapping out the next few months. Yes, because we are going to be like getting rid of some stuff. We are going to, you know, pack up the few things we're going More to More importantly, first. we're going to get our parents ready. Yes. And Val and Cindy ready. Oh, somebody in the comment section asked, you know what I think we're going to do? What? At the very end of every day, what we should talk about the comments from the previous day. I agree. That would a be comment really cool. recap. A comment recap. Yes. We should do that. Yeah. Recap respond. Yes. Something we like that. We will start we'll that something catchy. tomorrow with today's comment. So, if you want to talk to us, leave a comment. Yes. Uh, go for it. I do remember seeing in the comment they asked, um, "Are oh, wait? Whoa, what, are they coming here? Go That's ahead, what he's looking ahead. like." Well, then why did you wait? Oh. Really? He just, he just totally cut over and like mini heart attack. We're fine. Anyways, um, what was I saying? Someone in the comments yesterday. Thank you. Someone in the comments yesterday. What did you do without me? I hopefully we'll never know. <laughs> um, is mom and dad and Val and Cindy moving too? And yes, the short yes. answer is yes. Um, we are gonna go out first, and we'll know today if we're gonna be able to um, officially stay with Lisa's best friend. Yes. Um. But more than likely, that's the way it's going to be. And let's yeah. just let's go with that flow there. Thinking positive, yeah. that's the way it's going to go. Yeah. Then the way it's going to go is when we go in December, we'll stay with her probably for like two, probably like to February ish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then Val and Cindy will come out, and then we'll move to a place. Yes. And then by May June, our parents will. Come well, because see, here's the thing, and it kind of is. I'm not going to say my fault because we have to wait till June, but I will graduate with my bachelor's degree in June of next year. Right. Um, I'll grad I'll like, I'll finish school earlier, but I can't graduate and walk across stage and do the whole thing until June. Right. So me personally, that's a big accomplishment and I would really like to come back to Michigan. Why are you swaying, sir? Please get over and stay in your lane. Thank you. Um, I would really like to come back to Michigan just to, even if it's just for a weekend, just to graduate, have dinner with, you know, maybe some family here and kind of really close that chapter. You know what I mean? Right. And so probably what's going to happen is I'll come back. I don't know if Jen will come back, but I'll come back. You're graduating. No, but I'm I mean, back. but I mean, I don't know if you can like, you know, get it Look, off work or whatever. I'll, I'll come back. back. I'll help my mom and dad and probably will just drive yeah. to oh, California. I'm definitely going back. Because the last one's awesome. <laughs> so, um, because, you know, they're going to need help. I have to graduate. And I really want to walk across stage. I mean, I've worked really, really hard to yeah. graduate. Definitely. Oh, so, definitely, definitely. and it's, that's me. Like, I, to be completely honest with you, I walked across stage for my associate's degree, really for my parents because they wanted me to. I wouldn't have had they not wanted me to. Um, not because I don't think it's really, you know, important and it's not a great accomplishment, because it is. Yeah. Um, I just, I would really like to celebrate my bachelor's degree. That's just me personally. So, uh, so yes, that's the, long, that's the long story short, so yes, they are while coming. we're here for the next few months, mm -hmm. uh, we're going to do a few things in the house, finish a few products we've been working on, and kind of just kind of get rid of some stuff that we know yeah. I'm not taking. Yeah. I, you know, most of my clothes, honestly, i just not going to take, um... Just I'm keeping that. my YouTube t-shirts, yeah. uh, my Today Can Do Anything t-shirts, yeah. and um, 
I do need yoga pants. Because <laughs> I gotta oh, be covered. Wait. You wanna know something I just thought about? What did you just think about yesterday? Is I have to go renew our um, PO box. I have to go renew it by September like 10th, yeah. I think it is. Yeah. I'm sorry about all these bumps by the way. Sorry. Um, that's the last time we'll have to do it here. It is. Our next one will be in California. California. That's crazy. So then, okay, so then Cindy and I are gonna come out in February. We're gonna get a place. More the way it's probably gonna go is look at if you live in California, you know it is super expensive to live in California. Listen. Okay? So uh, let me put it this way. It's way more expensive than it is to live in Michigan. Yeah, okay? yeah, that's like, that's good to put it. Let, let me just give you a four four instance, for example. <clears throat> a two bedroom apartment in the area we were looking in is like twenty five hundred. Okay. A two bedroom rent here is like uh, 400, 450. 400, 450 if you go real fancy. Yeah, and you know, 800 bucks. I mean, if you are. If you're living like high life. YOLOing. Yeah, you know like I mean? on the water somewhere. <laughs> so it's like, it is going to be a big. So for the first probably year, we're just going to live together. Yes. Number one, it'll give us an option. It'll give us a, a time to save some money. Yeah. Because I want to be, you know, when I go and get my own place, I want to be financially stable to where I don't have to, you know, sweat it. And I'm going to tell you my main focus, like, so like when Jen, and I can say it's our main focus, but Jen's going to have a lot going on with Warner Brothers and stuff. So my main goal, the second I land in California is to, well, and even starting now, but really when I get there is to grow this channel. I want more roadies. We want more roadies. You know what I mean? So, but it'll be a lot more, I don't, I hate to say inspiring because you could be inspired no matter where you are. But for me, like, I just, I would, I can't wait to start that new chapter. You I know told what I mean? you, because, like, I was just, I think I told you all yesterday, you know, I found a thing in my journal from 2012. Yeah. And it's just going to be like, you know what, it's going to be that aha moment where, you know what, I never gave up on that dream. Never. You know what I mean? It's like, I had this dream, I set out for it, and look at me now kind of thing. Yep. Look at this, look at the, look at this, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. These two people are fighting over who is going to let them in or not. Now, what's going to be funny is in a minute when one of them get off the next exit. Why? Guaranteed that's going to happen. Why? Oh, is it going to be one or both? Let's see. Flip them. Hold on. And one's getting off. Like I told you. So he sped up for one exit. Tomorrow, Sir, please have a seat. We're going to look at a vlogging camera. We are. That's, yes, that is number that is one goal. Number one. Oh, so, yeah, so at least I definitely would love to grow this channel. Yes. Um, And within these next few months, I mean, you know, we have, look, anybody who's ever tried to lose weight knows. That it is, is a roller not, coaster. No, it is not no one-way ticket. And, and can I tell you something? This is why I think I respect, well, I mean, I respect him no matter what, but I respect Shea Carl so much because he has been on both sides of the spectrum. He's been, you know, health dangerously overweight. Dangerously overweight? Sure. That should have come out in a better sen sentence. Sorry. Um, but then he, like, worked really hard and he ran marathons and he was, like, super athletic. And then he kind of burned himself out and, you know, has fallen off the wagon and now is getting back into the wagon for the marathon training for New what? York. It's like, that is why I think that he's a great example to look at as far as a weight loss journey because right. he never has given up even when he's falling off the wagon he's looked at himself like okay it's time to get something else going here right. and gotten right back on the horse and done it you know and i don't know i just i find that very inspiring so yeah you know we've definitely struggled these last few years and we've had our good days and we've had our bad days listen good weeks and our bad weeks oh listen. good months and bad months yeah but again we've never given up on that so now it's nope. like Okay, I've proven to myself that you know what? If you work towards something long enough, and we've always stayed positive you can do it. too. Like right. that oh, said yeah. to me is is really important because let's be honest, sometimes it's hard to stay positive. You especially know, especially on a weight loss. Journey. Especially on a weight loss journey, but I think honestly, just in life in general, right. like we got a lot that's going on. You guys got a lot. That, you guys have families and careers and school, and I can name a laundry list of what's going on. Right. But no matter what, we always come back together. And remain positive. And I want something to be very clear, Roadies. Yes. I don't care if I am the president of Warner Brothers. Yeah. No, that these vlogs, they're not stopping. Nope. They're just going to get better. Yes, we're just going like, to take our, you places. Um, you know, it's just going to be like, they're just going to get to that next level of vlogging. Yes. You know, like we're going to share my, I'll share with you my day. Yeah. You know, of work or going out. What are you going to do one day shopping? if, like, you're, you know, vlogging somewhere you can be vlogging and just, like, Ellen walks behind you? What are you going to do? 
Well, I'm wearing khaki, so I can't feel my pants. <laughs> <laughs> so because that would not be Wait, cute. even if you were in jeans, you shouldn't be your pants. Oh, good point. Good point. Good let's, point, good point. let's just clear that up. Um, but no, definitely just know that we're here for the long haul. Yes. As long as YouTube's around, we'll be around. Yes, indeed. We've already looked into new computers yeah. and like how with the internet's like. Next week we're going car shopping. We are roadies. This is just happening. So much. It's crazy. But roadies, I we just want to tell you guys what? I saw the valve. She was at the she, door. She, I don't know. Well, we just want to tell you guys, we love you guys so much. Reverse this, man. And, and what? Reverse. I'm telling you now, she's standing right there. No, she doesn't even know. No, it's fine. Okay. It's fine. She's probably talking to somebody at Catalog. Um, we love you guys so very much. And so much. And when we say that, I mean, we really love you guys. And, Absolutely. Um, the same comment, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys saw that a few days ago, Trevor left a comment. Well, I, when I share something on Instagram, I also share it on my Facebook too. Mm -hmm. So real quick, while we wait for Val, I'm going to read you some of the comments from my Facebook. Um, by the way, I got a new phone. Um, from my Facebook. You know what I love? When we started this vlog, we were like, oh, this is going to be a short clip. Yeah, that never happened. That Let's never happens. Up. Loquacious Jones over here. Lisa just don't know how to stop babbling. Really? Okay, here we go. Right here. Okay, so here are the comments from my Facebook. Um. Okay, oh, Sandy says, wow, what kind of mother does that to her child? You're supposed to love them no matter what their choices are in life. No worries, Trevor's. No worries, Trevor. Lots of people love you no matter what. Yep. Mom's, or not mom's opinion, Mama D um, says, that's terrible. Thank you, ladies, for being there for him and showing him, showing him this love. Always. Always. Of course. Christina Stagman said, this made me tear up. I seriously wouldn't ever, wait, would not, words. I seriously wouldn't want English to is ever her first language, I imagine promise you. a world without my sons in it. And he is my son's age, so sad. And then Mama Dia put, as a parent, I don't get it. I may not agree with my child's lifestyle, but I would never humiliate them or tell them anything like that. I would still love them and be there for them. That's a tough road, and they need love and support, not whatever his mom is handing out. Besides, maybe his boyfriend is awesome, and she'll never know. True. I bet you. I mean, you never know. Lisa's sure. best friend put, um, you tell Trevor I'll be his best friend. I'm just saying, Trevor, that's a really good best friend to have. I'm just throwing it out. And she lives in California. She um, does. And so then Christina Stagman put again this day, um, just read this to her husband, and he is in shock that someone would say this to their own child. Please tell Trevor we can cyber adopt him. So, Trevor. Trevor. No worries. You think we love you? No doubt we do. But I mean. You got more people in your corner than you You realize. roadies, I tell you. If nothing else has come out of this, it's. <laughs> what are you doing? Great. I'm telling mom. Uh, hi, yes. Val. hi Val. Hi, what's up? Oh, I was work. Nothing. What's wrong? No, nothing. Nothing's wrong. What y'all doing? Vlogging. Vlogging. I got my oily stain on the. I see. I see your nose on the window. Anything happened at work today? I got two eye caps falling. <laughs> now, what is an eye cap to when tell the roadies? Open up, when people apply for JCPenney credit card. And oh, they get deal. it, right? Good yeah. deal. Well, no, even if they don't get it, I still get credit for it. Oh, okay. I had okay. to get two, and my manager said if you don't get any, well, she said, if you don't get any today, you have to do like a, um, like you have to act out a scene with me oh, of geez. how you get somebody to apply. She's so kind of like role play. And I looked at her and I was like, <laughs> I'm so surprised I ended we didn't up get one phone calls. And the second guy come up, he's like, I'd like to open up a pennies account. And I was like, sure, why not? Because <laughs> that was my goal to get two today. And you got your two. Awesome. Boom. Bink, awesome. bink. Congratulations. I'm well, proud of you. This has been a long vlog. It's already been almost 15 minutes. These well, vlogs lately have been... been on for 15 minutes. Moving. <laughs> Moving. Oh. oh, yes, I told. Okay. I have not put on my Facebook yet. I will. I just... I'm just sad. I've been dying. Them. We don't tell Lisa. Tell them that... Did you tell them that the day we went out to Target, when we come back in one of the clips, we were like, I was like, I can't. I can't do it. Yeah, I Yeah, the tell. vlog. The vlog. What vlog was it, Jen? It was the day that I think it's Val go shopping. Oh, yeah. Going shopping with Val. That last Tell clip that you guys saw, we knew. Like, I had like, just, gotten just gotten off the, the phone call. with Jen. But, obviously, I couldn't tell you guys at that moment because she wanted to tell you naturally. You know what I mean? But it was so, fun. Val and I are kind of, look. we took a minute to, like, start vlogging because I was like, I don't know. Like, I'm so excited and I can't really, I shouldn't we be like excited right now. Yeah, and we were shell-shocked because it was like, it all just kind of hit you at once. Like, oh, snap. There's a possibility. There's a good possibility we're not going to be there for Christmas. So, 
Moving on. Roadies, this is going to be it for the day. We hope you had a wonderful day. Wonderful day. Wonderful oh, wait a, day. wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Pause. Trevor. I was, I, this is what I was doing when Val got into the car. Trevor, we love you so much. We love each and every one of you guys so much. But if nothing else has come from these vlogs, like, me and Jen is one thing. And our family, that's one thing. But the fact that you guys support each other and reach out to each other when you guys know that, like, Somebody's someone needs to, you know, hear some positive words when maybe they live in a world that negative, that, you know, is more negative than it, it should ever be. Yeah. That means the absolute world to me because that means that you guys it goes it's bigger than me and Jen at that point you know it's bigger than our family it's bigger than Warner right. Brothers at that point we've just created an awesome community of people who is there for each other right super duper awesome and I love each and every one of you guys for being so awesome without a doubt and with that being said what yes. say it with us today, today I, I can, can do anything. anything say it believe it achieve it roadies with that being said we hope you had a wonderful day wonderful thank day thank you for tuning in today and guess and we'll see you next. Manana, bye. <laughs> I love that. Now let me turn the table and talk to you I had a dream but you're the reason that it's coming true Yeah, I've had some dark days when the sun don't shine But you always reminded me that I would be fine Cause when no one else cared, you believed in my vision Now I got an army coming with me on my mission I thank God for all of you every single night Cause believe it or not, you saved my life